for the last couple of months while I've been at the thrift stores, I've been looking at books here at the bins, looking at and digging through the bins, uh, at you know different thrift stores, looking through the, the stacks of books for interesting covers, interesting spines, um, pretty typesetting, pretty colored pages, um, illustrations. I've wanted to really do more journaling, both uh, personal journaling and a personal journal, um, like a junk journal, or uh, this year I also wanted to start an art journal. I uh, have been looking at the board books and thought that that would be a good way to start. Hi, I'm Holly Lamb and this is Lamb Living. And thrifting is definitely Lamb Living. This past year at Christmas, we had a, a thriftmas and we enjoyed uh, thrifting for one another and uh, had a great Christmas um, giving each other uh, wonderful things from thrift stores. And uh, I'll have to show you some of the pictures of some of the things that I received uh, from thrift stores that I just absolutely love. This one, this very first dictionary, has some great pictures in it, as well as the definitions. Imagine journaling about a page about love, or basketball, or a concert, and finding that word in this dictionary and putting that as part of a journal page. That would be um, so interesting and so colorful. And I really thought that would be a good one. Again, I'm also looking for board books. I thought that would be fun to uh, use for my art journal um, to start off with. This one right here, this I Love You Mommy, it is a perfect example of the board book I'm gonna be using for my art journal. I didn't get a picture of it um, when I bought it, but it's very similar to that one. And a lot of times, when I'm digging in these stacks, this is a Goodwill uh, in Savannah, a lot of times I go to the bottom and you can really pull out the good, the good interesting books that nobody else wants. Here's the board book that I am choosing. It's called Little Gorilla. It's a darling story about a, a baby gorilla who grows up throughout the year and gets very big and becomes a little self-conscious about it. And uh, I'm gonna be painting on some of the pages, two coats of my Snow White chalk paint. i um, using chalk paint because it gets better coverage than most acrylics. And so I'm using that to be um, kind of the base to each of my pages. Now I'm not gonna paint all of my pages yet. I have painted several just to make sure that they weren't gonna warp or bend and um, these board books are really built to uh, <laughs> take some abuse and uh, they are have been doing great you can see there on my pages so far so good and uh, goodness this is a scary lion but this lion also loved little gorilla little gorilla was just so likable in the end everybody was acting a little suspicious to little gorilla and spoiler alert the last page shows that they were planning a little birthday surprise party for his first birthday. And so they all loved Little Gorilla, no matter what he looked like. So there we go. Lots of pages I did paint just to make sure that they weren't going to warp. And they um, are hanging, hanging tough. They really have, have impressed me. So I'm going to pick out a page. I think I go almost for the middle of the book for my first page. And that's what I'm going to um, show you today. Now, the Dollar Tree has been putting out a new round of acrylic paints. They're called their Premium Acrylics. Uh, Acrylology, I believe is how you would pronounce that word. And for the last several seasons, Christmas and fall, and then this is the Valentine's um, set of colors. Yep, scarlet. And then I dug right through, and that one's just pink. <laughs> Some of them are fun colors. I'm gonna be using those for the palette that I'm using today. That palette um, is from the Dollar Tree as well. So we have Goldenrod, we have Hunter, Heather Green, we have Chestnut, and then that one is, I don't have the list right here in front of me. Uh, that's Eggnog, I have written them on the screen there. And then White. 
So those are the Acrylology from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to use a Craft Smart uh, Pearl White, and that's the gold uh, from Folk Art, the metallic pure gold. And so that's going to be my paint palette for this first um, art journal page. I looked under and went, whoops, I haven't got this turned the right way. And uh, I want to make sure that I'm painting it going the right direction so it's not upside down in my journal. And so I'm just going to start with little swirls. And, you know, I don't really count myself an artist per se, but I really kind of do. I feel like all of us who are creative and enjoy decorating and painting and creating, we all can um, say that we're artists in some way. Um, just like people who are musical, you know, whether or not they have a degree in music, if they read music and they enjoy music um, to praise the Lord or to um, help them to feel better and they listen to music and they, um, you know, create music in their own way, they're musicians just like I am, even though I have a college degree and I have a profession in music. Um, so I think it's fair to say that if you enjoy art and art, um, is something that you can create uh, personal enjoyment with. I think I could call myself an artist. Um, and I think the more anybody does anything, just like in music, I can say that for certainty as an elementary music teacher, the more you do it, the, uh, the stronger you are as a musician, as a performer. And the more we do art, um, is why I wanted to do an art journal. I just want to practice different techniques. Um, I'm doing kind of swirling painting and, and uh, doing some shading here, but I'm going to go in in a minute with a napkin and I'm going to uh, blot it all kind of together. And um, so, you know, I heard someone say an art journal's never finished. And I will finish this page, but will I come back to it maybe and add something else after I learn a new technique or want to try something else a little bit different with it? Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to um, deem it finished yet. Just like uh, with music, uh, you know, I can practice and practice, but the more I do it, the, the better it's going to get. I sing songs all the time in church or at school now, and uh, I could have done them 10 years ago, and I do them totally different now. And it doesn't make them any better. It doesn't make them any worse. It just makes them music. And so um, I think an art journal is kind of a, a fun way to um, practice a craft, practice uh, something that I enjoy. So anyway, I'm creating obviously a little scene here. And I've got my palm tree. Of course, Christmas is over. So here on uh, St. Simon's Island, we have lots of palm trees. And so I... I'm getting back into, you know, decorating my normal, the way I decorate for the, you know, the house, all the Christmas stuff is put away. And uh, I have kind of a beach theme with shells and whatnot here at the house. And so here we go. thought we'd start off with a palm tree. So I'm adding some of that chestnut to kind of give it more of a, a trunk look. I'm going to add more of the chestnut color. That chestnut color really kind of brings it alive as well as adding white to stuff. I find that when I add white, it just kind of makes things brighten up and look more alive. Of course, I tend to paint things white anyway. So at this point, I'm, you know, thinking I'm going to leave it with all these brush strokes and everything, but then I mm, I got to thinking about it and I thought let me, I'm blow drying it thinking, uh, something's mm, not quite right. So I take a napkin that's just sitting on my counter here. Then I'm at the kitchen counter. And so it's a smooth napkin. It's not like a paper towel that has a texture. It's just a smooth napkin. And I'm, I'm turning it. I'm going to get another one to, when I change colors. And I change napkins a couple of times. And I'm just blotting. And you're really going to see the difference when I do that palm tree. I'm just going to take and blot right over those brush strokes very carefully. I didn't want to get any green in my yellow sky. 
And here comes that chestnut. Now, I have my stencil brush. This is my JRV stencil brush. And I've got a little paper plate there, and so I'm offloading. So I'm not, you know, loading it full of paint. And I've got some stencils here that I'm just gonna randomly start putting some swirls. Here are the stencils I use in this art journal page. These are from Walmart. That one's from Hobby Lobby. And then the one down in the lower right-hand corner is, uh, of course, this whole set's from Amazon, but I'm gonna use the one um, down in the right-hand corner with the scriptures and the uh, Love Like Jesus in the center. I'm not gonna use any of the stencils as they are on the stencil page. I'm just doing them here and there and everywhere with different colors. I still have my paper plate over there where I'm offloading. Sometimes I'm going over to the paint palette where more paint is. Here comes the one, yep. And I'm just gonna start putting all these scriptures somewhere on my art journal. I've included all of these scriptures uh, written out in the description box below if you want to read through uh, the scriptures. I've also included the uh, link to the stencils. It's a nice farmhouse set. I think it was $8.99. And, uh, there's 10 stencils, and they're great little stencils. Um, I've used this one before, and they wash up really nice with the Dawn Power Wash. Um, as soon as I'm finished with them, I just put them in the sink and spray them with Power Wash, and they come right clean. Lots of wonderful scriptures in here. Um, this one says, for kindness, it's uh, Luke 19, three through five, says he wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was so short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So Jesus showed, showed kindness to Zacchaeus. When others didn't want to be around him, Jesus would. I love the way this one, I ended up, because it had the florals on it and the, and the birds, I put a, a bird in the tree and also on the ground and lots of florals all over the place. But I used that pearl um, and the white and just, it kind of just gives it a little pearly sheen with that, you know, botanical look, which, um, of course, I love flowers. There goes the bird. That was the bird on the, on the, on the ground. And then this Walmart one had a, you know, that beautiful wreath. And I put the whole wreath. Most of them I just put bits and pieces, but I went ahead and put the whole wreath on there. Just adding little bits of color here and there. I don't have a plan. I'm just doing what, you know, looks good to my eye. Here we go. All right, now I wanted to add some music because um, it's so uh, dear to me and my family. So I want to do a little bit of watercoloring on these two um, dyed pages anyway. They're from my stash. I used the green one in a past video where I made some leaves. And then that's just dyed with um, food coloring. And then the other one is coffee dyed. And of course, I've cut out a punch out in the middle there. But, uh, you know, I don't like to waste anything. And uh, so I'm just going to take this uh, color palette that I'm using here. And I'm watering it down a lot. And I just wanted to give myself um, some music with different shades of our color palette to use on the art journal. So I'm gonna go back and use these once they're dry on my journal page and put the green in the, you know, in the, the palm tree leaves and in the, the ground and put the, you know, the brown. Um, I'm using some white here. Seems kind of strange to put white on a, a coffee dyed uh, piece of music, but it really gave it a kind of a smoky a sweet look and it looks nice with this yellow so I really had no rhyme or reason I just wanted choices so um, you know this yellow of course 
will go into the sky scene. The brown can go in the middle between the sky and the green grass or the bushes or whatever we want to think that uh, the ground cover is. And then add a little bit of that chestnut. Just gives it a little darkness as well. Looks nice with the coffee dye. I just wanted that element of music to be a part of this journal page. I got a feeling it, music will be a part of a lot of the journal pages in this book. And then the chestnut also looks a little bit different on this uh, this white music, just green, t uh, dyed green. It has kind of a different different look. So here we go. So we're gonna let that dry completely. And then I'm gonna be tearing them. And I, I just purchased these uh, Deckel Edge, Mini Edged uh, tearing rulers. And uh, I'm, I'm trying out the different, the different um, edges. You can see here there are five rulers that come in this set. And there's all kinds of edges. A zigzag and of course a uh, looks like look at that little wavy look and uh, then just just torn edges and I found as I was kind of playing with it and, and ripping this music that um, the closer it was to where I was holding the ruler the better the tear was gonna be so holding that still and of course I'm using Matt Mod Podge to put it down onto my journal page but the closer, the you know, the firmer I held that ruler down, the easier it was to tear. I didn't know I've I've torn paper with a straight ruler before, but never these um, deckle edged rulers. So I'm really enjoying these. Look how look how well that does. Yeah, and up where my hand was, it tore better. So, um, still learning with those. Those are those are new to me, but I think I'm really enjoying those. So there's the ones with the chestnut, with the uh, browns, and of course I put the green ones up in the up in the tree. And so here it is. Here's how I kind of finished. I'm not quite finished. I had a few little pieces of music that went off the edge, and so I'm just taking a little exacto blade and trying to be careful, but I'm uh, you know making a nice clean edge. And then, because I put some of the music over a few of the stencils, I covered up a f um, this one. I think this was the one that says service. And uh, I, didn't want, I didn't want any of the words covered up. So if I covered them up with the, with the music, I wanted to put it back. And um, especially the scriptures that were on there. Put a little bit more green, just with that dark, um, the dark emerald green. And the swirls, and I just think they all look so pretty. I thought the layers on this just turned out just the way I wanted it to. In some ways it seems busy, in some ways it seems very simple. I'm going to read to you a few of the scriptures. Truthful, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. And sacrifice. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting in, to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because He is kind to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Luke 6.35 And forgiveness. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Luke 23, 34. I'm going to leave Little Gorilla on the front cover there for a little while. I'll, I'll decorate the front at some point. But Little Gorilla is okay for, for me for right now. I want to thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you here next time.
バイ。